how herbaceous plants have a variety of strategies for coming back in the next year. And uh, because they are herbaceous, that means that the parts that are above the ground are going to die. So the plant might uh, give up on them and allow the cells to die by depriving them of resources even before the winter, or the plant might just succumb to the winter and uh, those tissues would freeze and die as a result of the poor conditions in the winter. Uh, but that's basically part of the, the usual habit for these plants, and so it's not something that's going to necessarily uh, hurt them. They're, they're planning for that. So if you're a herbaceous plant, you've got to come back from somewhere that's not your above-ground tissues. So a lot of our plants have, uh, herbaceous plants have structures underground that allow them to weather the conditions. So I'm at the base of a Queen Anne's Lace or Wild Carrot here, and uh, I pull this out. I've got a fairly substantial root on this one. So uh, root is going to be the part that survives. And uh, from that root, I don't see any buds right now, but it would be able to grow out um, in future years from that location. Uh, let's see if we can find another. I had a, uh, here's a goldenrod. Let's see how we're doing on the old goldenrod. There we go. All right, excellent example here. So this is the, uh, this year's stem of the goldenrod goes down to a base that has a good amount of branching. So stuff's going on below ground, in particular this little thing. So this is a, uh, what would be an underground rhizome or uh, maybe, maybe described as a stolon, this basically side shoot that goes at the ground level and uh, what's, I don't know, I think sometimes kind of attractive and unexpected is this kind of pink shoot tip ready to grow in the next year. So it's at the ground level, it's going to be protected, uh, more protected from the elements, so it'll be below where things are colder, um, also potentially under the snow, which can be an insolent, and that's going to be ready to grow next year. This is also a way that this plant can... Uh, multiply itself so it can grow through vegetative reproduction and if these two side shoots take off uh, even multiple multiple buds on these side shoots if those all take off and become independent plants in the next year then this one plant can be become more than one plant next year without um, actually uh, spreading by seeds so we can pick up any more of these here's a plantain some of our plants are, in fact, annual. It might be done at the end of the year. Sometimes they are perennial. They'll come back the next year. They still necessarily don't have uh, big old structures to do that. So this is... Uh, I don't see anything that's obviously preparing this plant for next year. Not to say that it couldn't come back in the next year. Uh, English plantain here with the long parallel veined leaves. Uh, let's do one more. Got an evening primrose here. And uh, again, not, I uh, don't see any side shoots, but pretty substantial taproot on that. Uh, as we'll see when we talk about propagation, it's possible for plants to start producing growing structures. Uh, from places that don't already have them, as long as it's got a few cells behind that have survived. So this plant could well start growing a new plant in the next year from this structure. Uh, could also be done growing for the year. 